So the chances of TF2 ever getting actually fixed are relatively slim, especially with all the new info coming out about Deadlock, which is supposedly a new Valve game that's a 6v6 hero shooter that apparently started development around 2017, 2018, around the same time that they abandoned TF2. And the fact that the bot crisis got 27 million times worse after the source code was leaked means it's probably a problem directly with the code of the game, not just VAC anti-cheat. Obviously, that's also a problem. But Valve just probably doesn't even want to invest the time and resources into that. So the chances of any of this stuff actually working is probably slim, but it's worth a shot. Um, but I have a different stance that I want to take on this that I don't think a lot of other people have taken, and it's mostly to do with Deadlock. Deadlock just kind of seems like a generic 6v6 hero shooter that almost looks like it's ushering a new era for Valve of creative bankruptcy um, and wanting money, which, I mean, they've never not wanted money before, but this it, this just looks like a kind of a cash grab. So what I have to say is, look, Valve, money! You could get money from TF2 if you think about it. The economy, the economy, ooh, yeah, I know you like that stuff. I know you like cold, hard cash, gold bars, money, money, money. Hat economy, hats, sell for money, for, for money, for dollars and cents. You get money from these. You get money. I know you like money. You have your whole 30% thing with games on Steam, so I know you like money. I know. G Gabe Newell, money. Money, money. I know you're big. I know you're richest man in gaming, but money. Money. Dollars. Cold, hard cash. Stacks of money. Millions of dollars. Money. 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 Do something!